Alright, well, uh, everybody, long time. <sighs> Sorry about the shortest videos. I've just been, got a lot of stuff going on. It's just been a little difficult to get anything done. So I've got this circle here at my house. Uh, it's just rainy day, so we're probably we're not going to rake it. Probably get our pivot moved. I just finished up bailing. Sorry about that, two circles. And so this is my rake. I probably made one appearance, but I got this from a, uh, a guy and just pretty much been rebuilding it. Um, I don't, it's, it's still at this point cheaper than going and buying a good one. But, I mean, it, it is adding up. Uh, the only thing I'm having issues with right now is there's something wrong in electronics. Uh, these, I can't get them all to raise at the same time. I mean, it, there's actually something. One side is opposite of what it should be, so. Uh, it's just, and that wiring harness has been, it's not great. So, if I put any more money into it, I need to get a wiring harness, but. Other than that, uh, here's my my little dry land stuff. It's, it's doing all right. Well, I'm gonna walk back to the house. And I'll show you my my uh, chitty kale that we haven't cut yet. It's it's been kind of an interesting hay season so far. Uh, had some really good rain, and you know, typically hay person say that but I mean, we've had some great rain so the grass is green and growing on the ranch so I, I'm, I'm as happy as I can be it has made putting up hay difficult uh, especially with our we've had really high humidity which is something we just don't really ever have to deal with we actually typically spend most of our time waiting for humidity to come up enough to even fail something so uh, Right now, everyone's been just having trouble. Stuff won't dry down. Stuff is retaining too much moisture. Uh, and that's all right. Um, so I just went down to a place, got back from a place, round bailed like 160, 170 acres. Uh, I didn't cut it, but for some reason, the guy who was there, he he just stopped. But he had his own hay, and that's just between him and uh, the owner of the place. And I guess he had to go home and do his stuff, which is understandable. Um, you can see our triticale here is, this stuff is just now heading out. And, I mean, it's tall. It's, this stuff is really tall. The other circle is completely headed out. And I guess, so this is just a little bit behind. This is where we drilled the oats because it was so thin. Um, we don't have that trouble now. Like I'm, I'm standing and it's, it's up here. So uh, we're just kind of scared about all the thunderstorms and the hail that's going going on. I, you know, I'm concerned about that. So here are our oats. They didn't do too hot. Um, but this stuff just kind of blew past it, so which is great. I'm happy. Very happy. There's Dixie down there. Uh, yeah. Having a lot of trouble. So kind of what happened as we had some hay jobs going and some disking, you know, some farming jobs going. And we had a good week. And uh, we started laying down hay. Uh, we cut, I mean, seven days straight. And then we got, we cut one circle. Then we cut another almost 500 acres of alfalfa for a guy 
and then we came home and cut this circle and uh, Omni Star on our swath through was just being stupid. So that was giving us some trouble. Then we started started silage that Friday. And well, then we've been there ever since. Uh, it started raining Saturday, so we haven't been able to run that much. And it's just been kind of a mess. So like this stuff here needs to be cut. Like it, it needs to be cut now. And you can see it's not, it's not as good, not as, not as, not as many leaves, but it's still good quality. I just got to get it cut before those leaves burn or, you know, something happens. So it's still going to be fantastic feed. It uh, hasn't, hasn't tried pollinating yet. There's, I see a, a few that are starting to put some pollinators on. So I'd like to get this stuff cut so it's got good protein to it. Um, but at this point, it's going to be what it's going to be. We had, oh, I don't know how much, 1,700 acres lined up for silage cutting, and this rain kind of set everything back. One outfit changed to, uh, they wanted their stuff cut in the boot instead of in the dough. So, and they're a big outfit. So we had to you know change that out um, we were going to cut there and it rain kind of messed everything up so we lost 250 acres so far so they're just going to hire someone else which you know that's around five grand for the cutting i haven't been cutting uh, my employee's been running the swather and they're just the circle they're on now it's 500 acre circle They've just been having tons and tons and tons of problems with rocks. Uh, real sandy circle, but it's um, a lot of volcanic rocks out of a, a local volcano. Um, and they're just, they're taking out sheer hubs, everything. They're just tearing everything up. And I mean, so far it's done a lot of damage. It's kind of a kind of a mess. So the choppers, choppers upset because they're having to wait, but there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, you know they want a good clean cut, but the only way for us to hopefully even avoid the rocks is with that header up six eight inches. Then they're they'll be upset because you're leaving too much. So you know it's turning into kind of a money pit on that job, but you know, what can you do? Uh, and you can't see the rocks because the, the feed is as tall as this stuff. You know, it's it's chest high, belly high in places, you know, super thick. It's, you can't see, so uh, we've, we've picked up, I think the guys picked up maybe 10 or 15 so far. I mean, it's done a lot of damage. It's starting to cost a lot of money, so. That's something I'm going to have to figure out. And it's just... Uh, the big square baler's running good. So we had to, we had a load arm we had to replace. But other than that, the Nodder system, it was, it was a good, good call, good investment. Uh, I think it'll be a fantastic machine. It, it'll do everything I'll ever want it to do. And uh, it'll outlast my hay business I mean that's that nodder system will so I'm happy I'm very happy with that uh, it costs a little more than it should have you know we were figuring 10 grand it was 12 grand uh, or a little over 12 grand so I wasn't happy about that but you know I can't, everything can't be perfect cattle market sucks right now Gave some cattle away a couple weeks ago. That sucked. That was that was a bad day. I got the bill for the Nodder system, and the bill was more than it should have been. And the check for the cattle was way less than it should have been. So, you know, that's been kind of a deal. But life will go on. 
Well, what else? Uh, had some questions about the fever tags and stuff. I'll make you a video. Kind of get back into the swing of things. There's been many, many times I wanted to pull out my phone and make a quick little video, but I just haven't been in the mood to do it. So, but life's a little brighter right now. So, we'll kind of go from there. And if this thing isn't completely wind noise, then uh, hopefully you can enjoy it. So, catch you on the next one.